Hello and welcome to Robu. Today we are going to make sound reactive LED lights. And for that we are going to use this LED strip. Now LED strips are a popular lighting solution for a variety of applications. They are used in creating ambience in the room, enhancing the ambience in the room, creating additional lighting in photography and do attractive lightings in festivals. But this is not a normal LED strip. This is WS2812B. This is programmable LED strip. And we can program any pattern on this LED strip. We can program any pattern on this LED strip. We can individually control the LED. We can set the color, brightness. So let's program this LED strip. And for that, we are going to use this RPI Pico. But this RPI Pico cannot deliver this much current to power all this LED strip. So we require this adapter, which is of higher ampere, which is of 3 ampere. So it's enough to power this LED strip of 60 LEDs. So this adapter okay, will plug like this. So ground and VCC will go to this LED strip. This data pin and ground will go to the RPI Pico. Circuit diagram of this is given in the blog. Link is given in the description. Click on that link. And now let's start programming. Before writing the code, we need to install library for this LED strip. So the library link is given in the description. After extracting the zip contents, you will get two Python files. You need to upload that to RPI Pico. The installation steps are given in the blog. Read the blog. And now let's start typing the code. So let's start writing the code. So then put it pin and ADC for the LED strip data pin and the microphone. Now I'll import a NeoPixel library. From NeoPixel, import NeoPixel with N capital. Now I'll import time, give delay. Now I'll create a pixel object called pix, NeoPixel object. So this is a NeoPixel class and it takes an argument. So first argument is the number of LEDs we have in our strip, which is 60 LEDs. The second is the machine state number, which is zero. The next one is the GPIO pin on which you have connected the data pin. So I've connected GPIO zero to the data pin. And the last argument is the color format, which is GRB. So I'm using the combinations of green, red, and blue to create the colors. So I already created a dictionary of different tuples of different RGB values. So here, color, dish, color dict is the name of the dictionary and zero represents yellow color, which is comprises of red maximum and green 100. So at the combination will make a yellow color. In similar way, I have made six such colors. You can make many more colors according to your application. So now let's use a library function called fill. So I will use pix.fill to fill the LED strip with yellow color, which is the first color of our dictionary. So I'll write color dict. In the square brackets, I'll give it zero, which means it's the first color. First, we have to set the brightness. So pix.brightness We'll set the brightness of the LED. So 255 is maximum and zero is minimum. And then you have to write pix dot show. We should update the colors to all the LEDs. Now I run this code. Missing G in brightness. Now run this code. You can see that all the LEDs are lit up. You can see all the 60 LEDs are on with the color yellow. So in similar way, there's one more function called set line, set pixel line. So what this function does is, suppose you want only this top 10 LEDs to be on from 40 to 59. So the top LED is 59. The first LED is zero. And in this way, we have total 60 LEDs in this strip. 
suppose we want only the from 40 to 59 so how can we do it by using this function so we enter the first led which is 40 and the last led which is 59 and the last argument is the color dict which is the color that we want to led to grow now we run this code and you can see that only the leds from 40 only the leds from 40 to 59 are on rest all are off in similar way there is one more function called line gradient pix dot set line gradient so I'll just put one more word here, gradient. And it takes two colors. So total it takes four arguments. So I add one more color here, which is green from the color dictionary. So color dict I will put here two. So two is green, I know. So when I run this code, you can see that there is a gradient, gradient effect from yellow to yellow to green so if you want this effect you can use this function pix dot set pix line gradient so these were the functions now let's create some animations for this i will use for loop so for i in range so i'll loop through all the colors in the dictionary so 0 to 7 will cover all the six colors And then I will use just fill because I want all the LEDs to be lit up. And there is only one color. So the colors will be picked depending on the for loop variable. So I'll write here I. And after picks.show, I will give some time delay of 500 milliseconds. So each color will be wait for 500 milliseconds. So you can see that each LED is now glowing. LED strip is now glowing with each color after 500 milliseconds. So you want this to be continuous, you have to use while too. We'll start this code. So you can see now we are looping through all the colors in the dictionary. So it starts from yellow, orange, green, blue, red, sea blue, white. So in this way, so suppose now we want a fading effect, like fading on and off. So for that, we need to add one more for loop. And which will go from the maximum brightness, which is 255, to minimum, which is zero, in steps of minus five. And instead of this 255 is right here a variable which is a brightness i run this code again and you change the delay to two milliseconds now you can see the, the leds strobe with different colors they turn on and they gradually turn off like fading off so this fading off effect is achieved but if you want it to activate on sound so what can we do so already we have imported the ADC. Now I have to define the pin on which I attach the mic. So we have connected mic on pin 26, which is ADC 0. So I write that 26. And then in the while true, I will read that ADC pin and store it in a variable called mic val. So mic val is equal to mic dot read underscore u16 and you print that variable mic well and if the value of mic well is greater than 65535 sorry less than 65535 then we know that the sound is detected so i'll write mic well is less than 65535 
And instead of this for loop, first for loop, what we want is every time we make sound, the count should increment. So I will take a count variable c here and I'll give it initially zero. And whenever the sound is detected, I want the count to increment. So I write c plus equals one. And the count will determine the color of the strip. So instead of I here, I will write here C. So every time we make sound, what will happen? That color will stroke and gradually turn off. So I'll run this code. So right now you can see that yellow is on, but as soon as I make sound, it will gradually turn off. So every time I make sound, the color is changed and gradually it turns off. So it is a good tool in theaters, in party halls. You can use this system. So every time I make sound, the LED turns on and gradually turns off. So in this way, we can detect the sound and turn on the LEDs. In similar way, I have one more code which creates a shooting star-like effect. And for that, I have used set pixel line. And it starts from the first five and rolls down all the way to the 60 LEDs. So I run this code. We can disconnect the ARPA and connect it again. And now we'll run this code shooting star effect. Every time I make sound, you can see that it creates that color and it creates a shooting star-like effect. So in this way, you can create this effect and you can see for that I've used a for loop which goes from zero to the last LED and the step size is variable. So we can change the speed. For example, suppose I set here four and the speed will be reduced. I will stop this code, run this again. See, the speed is lowered. So in this way, you can also set the speed by changing the step size. So initially I set the brightness to maximum. Then I read the mic well, and I flash the same color. Then I run a for loop, which goes from the first five to the last five. And why I've used this C mod seven, because I don't want the count to exceed above six. So at six, it again rolls to zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Again, it starts from zero. So in this way, we are confined to only six colors. You can use as many as colors you want. And the last, I fill the LED strip with black color. There's nothing but all LEDs are off. So uh, this effect, all LEDs are off naturally. But when we make sound, the LEDs are on. So in this way, it creates a beautiful effect. So if you want to create this project, link is given in the description. You can go through the blog. So this was the project. If you found this project useful, let us know, like this video, and if you have your own ideas regarding this LED strip, how you can use it in your field to create amazing LED arts, let us know in the comments. Subscribe to Robu for more amazing content. Until next time, stay tuned with Robu.